There are so many different types of stainless steels out there, and it can be hard to figure out the differences between the more common stainless steels versus the lesser known ones, which is why we'll go into how 347 stainless steel and 316 stainless steel compare. Stick around. Hey there, what's up? My name is Andrew Kotlar, and stainless steel is by far the most widely used alloy in the woven wire mesh industry. It offers the perfect balance of durability and cost effectiveness, making it ideal for most applications. 347 and 316 stainless steel, for example, offer similar qualities, but at the same time are beneficial to their own set of applications. But which stainless steel alloy should I be using? WS Tyler has been a prominent supplier of woven wire mesh goods for over 150 years and has dealt with every alloy imaginable along the way. So in this video, we'll go over how 347 stainless steel is defined, the benefits of using 347 stainless steel, how 316 stainless steel is defined, the benefits of using 316 stainless steel, and how the two compare. 347 stainless steel is an asthenitic steel alloy known for its stability. It's comprised of carbon, manganese, chromium, phosphorus, silicone, niobium, nickel, and sulfur. The inclusion of chromium as well as niobium makes 347 stainless steel one of the more stable 300 series stainless steel variants. So usually 347 stainless steel is reserved for applications that require specific corrosion resistant thresholds. And it's primarily known for its ability to resist intergranular corrosion by combating carbide precipitation. But 347's level of resistance to common forms of corrosion is similar to 304 stainless steel. At the same time though, 347 can withstand greater stress loads than 304 stainless steel could. And I should also say that 347 can be applied to applications that require your mesh to be welded. Because it's classified as an austenitic alloy, 347 stainless steel has superior weldability compared to other high alloys. In regards to weaving woven wire mesh, 316 stainless steel stands as the most used alloy in the 300 series stainless steel family. On a molecular level, it's comprised of nickel, molybdenum, chromium, uh, and minimal traces of carbon. The low presence of carbon places 316 stainless steel in the low carbon alloy category. The inclusion of nickel and chromium stabilizes 316 stainless steel, which allows it to provide superior corrosion resistance than its 304 counterpart. But its reduced carbon levels further enhance its resistance to corrosion. This minimizes carbide precipitation buildup, so because of that, 316 stainless steel excels in applications that subject woven wire mesh to high moisture levels, since it's less likely to rust. First and foremost, the niobium in 347 stainless steel makes it more resistant to high temperatures and oxidization than 316 stainless steel. This affects what welding processes you can apply to that alloy and how it will perform when used in high heat applications like exhaust systems and chemical processing plants. But that said, 316 is much easier to weld since it contains less carbon. But because 347 contains niobium, it's more stable when being welded. This helps it combat intergranular corrosion and sensitization more effectively than 316 stainless steel when welded. Now, it should be noted that 347 stainless steel delivers superior mechanical characteristics than 316. This again makes 347 more appealing than 316 when heat resistance is needed. So with all of this in mind, because it contains much higher carbon levels than 316, 347 stainless steel is subject to scaling at higher temperatures. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.